guys. Um, I just want to show you some cool stuff that you can do with single player commands. Um, now, you currently cannot see anything. I really can't either. But I know that it is a bedrock box. Now, just to make sure, I'm going to try free cam. And now I can fly out and make sure. So, yes, this is a bedrock box. So, I'm going to type that command again, and I am back where I was. So, um, really, when I did free cam, my body did not move. I was still trapped in this box. Um, but, you know how we can get out? We can use no clip. And voila, we are out. Out of this bedrock box in survival mode. Um, but, let's just say I want to go over there. Um, but, I really don't want to walk all the way, so I'm going to use fly. And done. Oop. I turn it off. And we're done. And we're here. And that was it. But that is another video. Um, yes, yeah, so we just went from there to here really fast. Now, let's say I want to go back. I can use set, set speed. That's set speed. Oh, 10. I can go back really fast. It kind of looks funny. Um, but, yes, yeah, so now I'm going very fast. Now, let's say I get trapped in a hole. Yeah, I'm gonna have to jump to get out, but, kind of be like, ah! See, I'm almost, like, walking above these holes I'm going so fast. Okay. Yeah, I just walked right across there. Oh, almost made that. But, uh, could I jump? Now, um, yeah, I just jumped that entire thing. So the physics still work. Probably the same. Now, I can set my jump. And let's set that to, like, three. So, now I'm running really far, and I jump really high. Oh, yeah, this is insane. This is fun, actually. This is really fun. But yeah, um, let me just turn that off. Oh wait, by putting it in its zero or one, then it'll be set to the normal. So yes, now I'm. Everything is normal. Um, not as much fun, but it's back to normal. Um, so next, uh. The main reason I got this was because of World Edit, and that is why I have these two things here. I always have these two things, um, because of World Edit. And, um, one of them is a WinX, and that is your main selecting tool. So, I'm gonna get rid of this, so I'm gonna select it. But, it does not look like this axe is working. Uh, wand, and now it should be. Don't know why it's not working just not working. So I'm going to change my game mode real fast, explain how I did that so quickly later. Um, got rid of that, two slash slash wand. It's not giving me a wand, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. I will now want my game mode. Okay. I'm going to get rid of all this, because I really don't want it. And then change my game mode back. There we go. So, basically, okay, so I've selected that position. The thing is, I'm not selecting this position so easily. So, I'm just going to quickly grab, oops, grab a piece of wool. Just a piece of white wool. And now, for the reason that I think, I think I understand this bug right now. But, see, yeah, that, that was, that didn't work. Didn't want that to happen. Um, but yeah, I, can, I understand the reason for this bug right now, because I click there, and it only, it selected this one. It didn't replace this one either. So, yeah, that's a bug. But I will show you why. In survival mode, I cannot, oh, well, now it selects, okay, well, anyways. Um, yeah, it selects there. Actually, in survival mode, this works perfectly. Um... I just now realized I have not used this in survival mode. I'm always using it in creative mode. So 
basically in creative mode, it breaks the block. But see, then it selects this one right here, which you do not want. Um, but earlier, the one was not decided not to work. Yeah, so in creative mode, I have to do this, and then, oops, destroy that. But see, this does not work because that is already set as the position. If I did that here, it still doesn't want to work. Oh well, this thing's pretty buggy. I'm not entirely sure what it's doing. But I do know in survival mode that that selects there. And the second position is already there. And I can do set zero. It's gone. And now I can do that. That's really easy, actually. Uh, almost. Well, see, world edit in multiplayer works with creative mode. Set. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is sandstone. Ooh. And we can check. No, I'd rather not check since we're in survival mode. Oh, yeah, insane amount of XP. There is an XP command. It's on most multiplayer servers as well. XP command. Um, so, yeah. Now I can do slash cannon. Dot five. And I'll shoot cannon. I'll explode, but. Let's not shoot it as far. Let's shoot it right over here. Oh, it's in the middle. <laughs> Even bigger hole. Yeah. So, yeah, I can shoot a cannon. Blow stuff up, you know, just for fun. Um, give myself a ton of XP for fun. But, thing is, I really don't need any XP when I can just take whatever the heck I want. I can. In survive mode. In survive mode, especially. Um, I don't need all those XP orbs. Who needs an enchanting table? It costs so much. I could use give, because that's included. Give. Oops. Yeah. I accidentally hit tab while in the chat. Don't do that. It does this. And so the recording's gonna have to stop in a few seconds. See, so yeah, as you just as you just saw, I just made a mistake and hit tab while using the commands, it's glitch, try saving the game, doesn't work, so it closes the game as it crashed. So, yeah, don't do that. Don't make the mistake I did just, just now. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, enchant. So yeah, I can use slash enchant. Actually, you know, I can give my stuff up. I give myself a table or whatever. I can give myself an enchantment table, use the XP. But, you know, I may not get the enchantment I want. That's where the luxury of enchant command comes in. So, um, let's just have this in hand. Oh, man. So, yeah, I have this in hand. Hmm. I'm going to add the enchantment. Um, I don't know. What enchantments are there? Let's do this. Yeah, so I can enchant stuff without having to actually do anything. Now, right now, at this point, I'm going to show you what I'm using to change my game mode. Is he slash bind command. So I can do bind, put in the key, and put in the command. So that, that, okay, so the last, the last word is game mode, and that is the command. Um, so yeah, game mode, that's what it is. Um, so yeah, game mode. So it's already like that for me, so I just hit G, and my game mode has changed. Don't spam channel so much. Yes, so that is helpful, especially to me, because changing my game mode easily is nice. Um, mostly on multiplayer. I do mostly multiplayer, but sometimes I'll do single player. I don't know why I need to change my game mode that much in single player. But if I could do that, actually, it might actually work, but there's no power tool, so it's basically the replacement. Um, in essentials, there you can use power tool. And if you left or right click a certain item or tool, it'll do stuff, um, such as change your game mode. So, I might do that, actually.
But yeah, since there's no slash GM, which I found really nice with the centrals, there is a bind. So I can just change my game mode real easily. So yes, hooray for that. Um, there may be some instances that I may need to change the game mode in some of my worlds. So, yes. Um, now, the main reason I got this was because of world edit. And I'm pretty sure I already showed you that removing stuff. But you can also do slash here. Spelled that right. Slash sphere. Five. That's the radius of the stone. Okay. Oh, it's pH. Did not spell that right. Well, still. Still. Sphere. Spelled right to me. H sphere. Oh, two slashes. Yeah, that's a world edit thing. Two slashes. And see there, it created a... Oh. Five, one. Oh, okay. Got the uh, parameters backwards. I'm like, it's different than you think it is. It's the opposite of what you think it is, because that's how it was originally for me, because I was doing that and made a massive one when I was trying to make it out of or like stone bricks, so it made it like a hundred blocks out of, like, some other object. Like, one time I accidentally, I was trying to make a hollow sphere of glass. So, I got the parameters backwards. I wanted it to be 10. And 10 is lava. So, I spent the next 15 minutes trying to clean up that mess with world edit as well. Using, you know, slash, slash, position 1, position 2. Yeah. Um, that is basically it. Um, uh... Yeah, you can change your screen resolution with simple commands. You can do all that. Um, really nice building tool. Um, you can make trees, like I think. I got bring out my iron axe. I think I can start a tree. And I can't put a tree there because. But see, yeah, that's what that does. Um, grass. Um, but yeah, that's what that does. It finds certain things. Um, yeah. So, that is all. Hope you enjoyed. I will put a download for world edit for bucket. It's sort of like a plug-in spotlight. Because, you know, why am I showing up the mod? <laughs> um, world edit. Yeah, world edit link. Download on bucket dev. And um, then single player commands on the Minecraft forums. So, yes, I will include links. And, um, hope you enjoy it.